Well, uh, it started with uh, um, these two Canadians mailing us and asking if they could visit our studio. And uh, there's a lot of people phoning and mailing, so, so we said, yes, of course, you're welcome. And then they came and a nice couple, and they, they said, well, we have a store called Mjölk in Toronto. We're like, that's, that's weird, because Mjölk means milk in Swedish, and I think it's very, very strange that somebody opens a store in another country and names it after a sweet, the Swedish name for milk. Both parties felt uh, ourselves and John and Julie of Mjölk that we should do something more than just exhibiting stuff that we've done for different manufacturers before. Something unique, something together. So discussions sort of came to um, making something that was possible to make through um, uh, artisans in and around Toronto. We were slightly sort of playing around with the concept of milk or milk. So that's why we made a milk picture. Mm -hmm. Well, you can start with this, which is the the milk pitcher, as we as we say, um, we tried to make it as um, simple as we could, uh, adding only the little um, nose for for the pouring. Um, it's no handle; you use your hand. So all the three um, elements are actually very tactile. To this, we um, wanted to do a lid. We came up with making this also as a useful thing, um, adding this little bowl shape here, uh, which uh, in Eros case you can have the sugar, yeah. sugar, or you can have the, you can have your sweets uh, here. If you're if you're um, giving this to a person, and you you get your personal little tray. Um, and to this we also made a tray which. <coughs> Uh, has two sides, one with wood, uh, maple of course, being in Toronto, and then uh, on the other side the heat that, um, protecting things. So there's one copper, one oh. in um, cast iron and one in, 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 in bronze. We kind of like the idea, because we work a lot with Japan, we like the idea how to make a ritual out of every, everyday things. So our idea was also a little bit to ritualize the act of having coffee because almost all over the Western world you have a coffee when you meet or, or you can have it in different places. We kind of wanted to add some value to it. The name, I, th I think we forgot to mention, is Ceremony for the set. Yeah, that's and that's because what my partner Nero just said. It adds a little bit of ceremony to the mm. daily casual mm. uh, coffee drinking. Mm. Uh, that we normally do. It's kind of bridging the Japanese sense of uh, enhancing everyday life with our sloppy Western way of just <laughs> downing a cup of uh, caffeine. <laughs> yeah.